Zafron water. I just made a DVD that I'm very proud of, the Ocean Soup DVDs. In the last uh, video, I showed you how to make chicken stock, how to make beans. These are the components that you use for garnishing osh and soups. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to make saffron water. I've had a lot of uh, uh, people who ask me how this is made. You can also use it for rice, but I also use it for uh, garnishing soup and uh, uh, ashes, as you will see in the DVD. <coughs> this is saffron water, I mean uh, saffron powder. How you make saffron powder, powder is that you get the uh, saffron and then you grind it. Depending on how much you want to use, this saffron water is something that it will keep for a couple of weeks in the refrigerator, sometimes maybe three weeks. So just don't make too much, just make enough. This is the size of the spoon that I use for my, uh, for the saffron. So depending on what I want, I can use half a, a teaspoon. This is a, a Iranian teaspoon. So it's probably a quarter of a regular teaspoon. So you use half a teaspoon, use a full spoon, a teaspoon, put it in here. And now you put, this is hot water, just enough hot water to cover the saffron. That's it. And you cover this and you let it simmer. If you do not have a jar like that, what you do is any container that you make your saffron water, After you pour the water, the hot water, you just cover it with a piece of cloth. And let this sit for a few minutes. And they call this dam kishidan. Like the rice after you, dam kishidan. You'll see in the DVD that how much I use. I'm all about saffron. And I, not only I use it in ash and soups, but I would also use it for decorating and garnishing the ocean soup. So after this has been sitting here, then I would add water 10 times. So fill it to the rim. So this is 10 ratio of one to 10 of hot water. So, the ratio is if you put the saffron water and then enough water to cover the saffron at the bottom of your uh, container, then 10 times of that you add water. It depends on the th how thick you want your water to be. Since I use this a lot, few teaspoon for few uh, uh, soup spoon, that's the way it's done, you let this cool off and then you can keep it in the refrigerator for uh, up to three weeks. I hope that that answered most of your questions about how to make saffron water. In the next video, I will show you how to garnish soup. So when you get the DVD, you'll all be a master in garnishing, as I have explained in my DVD.